For the paperback copies of Smart Alec, I did a whole lot of research online and wound up going with a great company in Canada called Art Book Bindery. One thing I liked about them was that they let me do an initial order of only 50 copies. At 40 pages per book, that worked out to about 500 bucks. When you're self-publishing a kid's book, it's really important to get a company that knows how to do bindings. Art Book Bindery was the best, I thought, uh, when it came to what they call perfect binding or the adhesive glue-based binding. Everything is nicely glued together tightly, and I feel like it's going to last a long time. For the few hardcover copies that I wanted, I went with a company called Blurb, which is also pretty wonderful, although a lot more expensive. They've got a really dynamic app that you can download to your desktop, build your book there page by page. When you're satisfied with it, upload it back to their website where you purchase your book. There they provide all kinds of options for ordering, which include dust jackets, which is something that I really wanted for the hardcover. They also have all different kinds of options for the paper that you want. I went with more of a glossy luster. Um, they did a great job, I thought, with the full page spread here, as you see the left side image uh, meeting perfectly with the right side image. There is one downside to going with Blurb, and that is that at the very back of the book, uh, they, they, they force you to put their logo uh, at the back on the last page of the book which I thought was a, a very unfortunate thing because, I mean, you can get it removed if you pay extra for it um, to insert your own logo there, but you're paying a lot of money for these books, and it seems self-serving uh, for them to then force you to do some advertise on, uh, advertising on their behalf. But other than that, it was a really positive experience overall, and it was a lot of fun to get these books back in the mail and sit down with my son uh, at night and read them during uh, sort of regular book time before he goes to bed. And then he had a lot of fun addressing envelopes, stuffing them, and uh, driving around one weekend delivering them all to his, uh, his school buddies.